tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the brand new John Nextdoor stepper card die to make the basic fold die that we have here. And the idea of this is, and I'm just showing you a simple plain one because that's what we're going to make up. The idea of this die is that it's completely flat for postage and fits in a standard A5 envelope. But when it's opened, it pops and stands up and you can decorate this in so many ways if you have a look on some of the galleries on the crafting with john next door and crafts to facebook page you'll see some amazing samples made by the angels using this so i'm going to take you through the die to start with and to start with the die comes like this and it's an a4 die so it uses an a4 sheet or a full a4 sheet and effectively you're getting in this one two three four five six dies and these are all the parts you need so you get the section for the card you get a mat for that and a layer so that you can layer it up you get the strip across the front and the two steps in there but i'll show you how we lay this out to cut it to start with so taking a piece of just a4 and i'm using standard white 300 gsm card I'm going to put my card blank here and you can see what I mean that it's smaller than an A5 sort of finished card. So it will easily fit into a standard envelope. We have the strip for the front, which is just slightly narrower than the width of A4 or if you're in America, letter size. We have the larger step here and we have the smaller step. And those are the pieces that we need to cut out to actually make the actual card now i'm using an a4 die machine here so i can get them all cut from one piece of a4 however no die in this set is too big for your a5 machines so you can use this in all of your a5 machines so we'll pop that to one side and we'll pretend i've already cut that because i already have and i'll bring out the pieces as they come out so we get the pieces out just like this and as you can see these have got all the folds on them that you need and they've all been done and all we simply need to do is to fold the first piece in half which gives us our opening and closing card it makes a beautiful little small card anyway great gift card great for putting gift cards in and then what we do with the other pieces on the front we put tape on the flaps now, I've used power tape from Crafts 2. I would suggest you use something like a red line glue or red line tape, or you can use a wet glue if you want to. But obviously, that takes a little bit of time to go off. So I find the easiest thing is to use a power tape or a red line tape. Standard double sided tape will not be strong enough. So all I'm going to do is just, sorry, nearly got that wrong. Make the fold first. So fold each piece in. So each one is a mountain fold, effectively making almost a little box. So we do exactly the same. So it's a mountain, mountain, mountain fold. And what we mean by mountain fold is it goes up like that, like a mountain would. It's an easy way to describe things. And the same mountain folds on the front. Then all we need to do is take off the tape. And I'm going to start at the top. So I start almost at the back. And what you want to do is fold your two pieces down. So it's just like that. And then line up the middle fold against the middle fold line on your card. There we go. Just like that. So that when it closes, that folds completely flat. We then do exactly the same with the next step, which is a bigger one. And you can put as many as these, of these as you want in. You can really play with this card design with the sections. I always think to me when it's made as a simple white card, it almost looks like a birthday cake. Use some of your beautiful patterned papers on it. <coughs> so for the middle, we simply match down the center again, line to line and stick it down. You're constantly making sure that the fold line here has the same fold line as there. So you can see again, when we fold it, we get that box or cake type structure. For the large strip across the front, we then have the same again. So I'm just taking the blue tape off, putting that onto the center 
onto the centre. Couldn't be easier. And there's no fold in this because this gives you a beautiful bowed front. Just like that. So that your card instinctively goes flat for postage. If you wanted to fold it out, you could do, but obviously it takes a lot of space. So the idea is you get a beautiful rounded front. And when you post this, you do so flat. Now within the die set, you do get these two dies, which will give you panels. And I've cut them out here, one in white, one in silver. So if I just pull in a little bit of glue, and I'm just gonna use a wet glue on this for speed. So let's grab that panel, that one's a little bit mucky. So here we go. These will fit exactly, the matte and layer beautifully. So a great way to use the card base in a plain color, and then perhaps use your patterned paper for the bits and for this. So you could hear, adhere this in first before sticking these onto here, or this fits perfectly on the front. So again, you can decorate all four sides of this card really simply and easily. So you can have another panel there. You could put panels inside and you've got a really simple fold, which you can really go to town with.